Let's watch some curse cooking. Princess Lemon Drop, thank you so much for the gift. Dude, what is with all these gifts? Oh, he gifted it to EST Fox. Thank you so much. That's perfect. What about YouTube comments reviews? Dude, I actually have been so busy, I haven't read YouTube comments much. But uh, I can guarantee they're probably batshit insane. So we, we might we might take a dip. We might dip our toes. <laughs> Harpsichord, thank you so much for another gift. We might dip our toes a little bit. Ricochet Ricky with a gifted sub. Did he just give up? Did what? Did, did he just give up? <laughs> what? Is he just like, well, that's just how it's gonna be. He's just, just like, oh, that's a dear man. Let him cook, bro. He is cooking. Any advice for new streamers asking for a friend? Um, stream all the time, but don't stream all the time. Okay, actually, honest advice here. Don't start streaming. You know what you should do? Start uh, in a platform where you can actually grow. Streaming and Twitch, if you start from zero, you're going to get nowhere. You could stream, but post on TikTok, post on YouTube, spam it everywhere. Because let me tell you a little secret. Uh, Twitch does not recommend you. At all. You will never get anywhere on Twitch unless you like spam your content on TikTok or spam your content on YouTube or something like that. Right? The only reason I have viewers on my platform right on Twitch right now is because I have a YouTube channel where I post all my videos, right? <clears throat> if that wasn't the case, no one would be here right now. All right, let's watch another uh a flame video. Hecarim skin with the rainbow tail? Yeah, I know. I want that skin. It's a My Little Pony. What is in that bucket? Don't, please, please don't be gasoline in that bucket. Fuel. Engulfed in flames as he adds... Fuel. You don't add fuel to a barbecue. Can you fart so hard your balls explode? Celestial Lord, thank you so much for the gifted sub. He didn't even run. He didn't even run. He just stood right there and tanked it, bro. You're not a tank, man. You're not built for that shit. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he is a tank because apparently all of his knowledge points are uh, is at fucking zero right now. Hopefully he put all of his points in vitality because bro is about... He's dead. Thank you. They're all just laughing. Like, what it... Dude, this has to be in the Midwest. There's no way. This is this is the most Midwestern shit I've ever seen. <clears throat> the buckets... <laughs> While fucking Bruno Mars is playing in the background. Oh my god, dude. God, people are so fucking stupid. Holy shit. Grease fires and water do not mix. Are you sure? Oh no. Okay, we got a grease fire here. Yeah. The, the I you know what? the first thing that comes to mind when I see fire is you flame it. You you you, you wave, you know? Well, what's the word? You fan. You fan the fire. You fan the flames, you know? That that's the perfect way to get them out. You guys know that, right? You guys know that, right? Nonsensical bastard, thank you so much for the gift. Fanning, fanning over here. 
Just let it go out. That's all you got to do. Just let it go out. It's a grease fire. It's in the pot. We're good. Bro, it's all the way up at the camera. Dude, he's dead. This guy's dead. Tried blowing the fucking fire out like a goddamn birthday cake. Dude, like it wasn't even, it wasn't even a problem. Yeah, exactly. Just put a lid on it. Like the, the, there's no problem here. It's just a little grease fire in a pot. What is this shit? Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I don't know. This person seems old enough where they would know. But you want to know a secret that uh, happened to me when I was working at a pizza place. It was my first job. I was 15 years old, uh, under the age of technically legal working age, but I was uh, 15 years old and I was working at a pizza place and they told, I remember they told me to mix this and this in a uh, mop bucket to make like mop water, right? That's what they told me. And I, you know, I'm, I'm a kid. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I mix this and this didn't know what it was, but I mixed it, and it started smoking. My chest started hurting. Everybody started coughing. It was burning. <laughs> I accidentally created some mustard gas. <laughs> well, okay, don't you, you cannot, you guys cannot hit me with a pig dot dot dot. Bro, I was 15 years old. I didn't know what I was doing and they just trusted a 15 year old kid who's never had a job in his life to just pour chemicals in a bucket and, ex and, and expect nothing bad to happen. Classic pig? No, that's not a classic pig moment. <clears throat> First thing I hear live is pig saying he made mustard gas. It wasn't on purpose. Did you get brain damage from it? No. Does it look like I have brain damage? My, my IQ is through the roof. All right, shut up. I'm smart. My brain has not been affected by the mustard gas whatsoever. No fire going on Christmas. What you burnt, girl? Dude, are, is this just is this just like fire safety month right now? What's going on? That's just the grease. Some grease. We in here trying to open up Christmas presents, and we got a whole fire going. You no, know? don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh God, please don't do that. Oh, this is this is already giving me anxiety. Oh no. Just leave it. Put a little on it. Putting water. Ah! Mama! Mama! No fire going on Christmas. I love she just screams for mom. <laughs> this is why education is important. Dude, everyone needs to take a goddamn food education class, dude. Because the amount of times I see shit that is just I mean, it's not really common sense because technically I did have to learn it. But like, you know, uh, the whole salmonella shit with like raw meat and cooked meat and like, you know, don't mix cross uh, uh, ex examination, uh, cross extermination. No, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'll get the word cross uh, ex uh, exfiliation, ex uh, asphyxiation, cross Next video, next video. <clears throat> Cross ejaculation. Oh, Only one thing. <laughs> okay, that, that one got me. <laughs> that one got me. God, I, my maturity level. <clears throat> thing to do, go for it. Mm. Oh, I've seen this video. I've seen this one before. Oh, don't stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, stop. 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 They move. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, picture. Making. Okay. Oh, I don't know what he wants to do. Oh, back, back, back. Okay. Oh, okay, like this. Okay. He's done. He's done. Oh. Oh, nice.
Okay, it's not really curse cooking. I just don't know what the hell that is. <clears throat> what happened? They just put salt and soda? <clears throat> yeah, it looks cool, though. I hate these things. Cringe. Yo, thank you. I am the rage quit month two, baby. Let's go. Looks bustin'. It's actually bustin'. Can't even fucking say it right. Stupid ass. All right. What do we got next? Okay, I Michigan! <laughs> uh, Semi-carnivore chicken waffle. This jack I've been drinking has been... Okay, We've this, been this music. Thank you, Scranmans and Furry Beard! Two prime subs in a row! Wasted on thinking now. Okay, I gotta mute this. Two eggs? Okay. Wh what? Okay, shredded chicken, finely shredded cheese, <clears throat> eggs, taco seasoning? And then you ruin a perfectly good waffle maker with that shit? I mean, it looks good, but stupid as fuck. Yeah, this is just one of those things that you see on TikTok or Instagram where someone thinks they're, like, genius and, you know. You guys won't believe this crazy recipe I came up with. Shows the most basic shit ever, and then you get a clip of them at the end taking a bite of it and just going. Oh, God. Fuck. Ooh. You know, it's like basically coming to their goddamn food. Like, chill the fuck out. It's not that good. It really is not that good. All right, shut up. <clears throat> is, that, is anyone else, like, bothered whenever you see those, like, dumb Instagram videos or TikToks and then they always have to show themselves eating it? You know? Like, it's fine if they're, like, ironic about it or something or just being goofy, whatever. But when they're, like, genuinely, like, this is so good. Oh. oh. Fuck. Oh. It's vomit. Like, that's just straight vomit. 17 subscribers. 82 views. One like. How do you find these videos, Ren? Are you just, are you just, like, Actively searching for the grossest videos possible and then finding these like one like videos like what is this? This is just a rare talent Yeah, I know it's tuna guys, but it looks like throw up <clears throat> Onion cucumber Tuna Just onion, just raw red onion, tuna, and... What? What? Just some, this is, you know, you know what this is? You know what this is? This is a British meal. This, this is something a, a Brit would eat. You know, just like, some nice onion slop. Just slap some cucumbers on there with some onion, get some onion slop on your, on your fucking crackers. Any British? Any British? <clears throat> Question mark? That's tuna salad. Okay, that is not tuna salad. That, no. You, you cannot call that tuna salad. The bro just throws red onion and fucking cucumbers, and you're just calling it a tuna salad? Nah. Nah, I've had chick dude, chicken salad's baller. And that's what I think of when I think of, like, a salad. Nah. Nah. What is this, as seen on TV? Hi everybody, Chef Tony here. <clears throat> Growing up, my family made the most amazing meatloaf, but we had a secret. Look, What's that? Delicious seasoned beef on the outside, and oh boy, loaded baked potato. What the hell are you talking about? 
Doesn't that ruin the whole purpose of a meatloaf? Potatoes on the inside. How they do it? It's the perfect meatloaf plus. The new <clears throat> non-stick way to bake and serve the perfect stuffed meatloaf. Watch. Add your favorite. Why meatloaf, though? You know, like, th this could be perfect for cakes. You know, what was with, like, the, the late 90s, early 2000s and putting stuff in the center of things? Remember that cake thing? The Betty Crocker cake thing where it had, like, the, the divot in the bowl and you could, like, fill it up with some shit? It's the same thing, but for goddamn meatloaf. Like who, what? Favorite meat to the pan, press to make an opening, pop in your favorite mm. stuffing, now see- What the hell did you just put in there? What is that? Pop in your favorite stuffing. Any offers? Ham? Uh... It really just looks like rolled ham. Anyone? Bologna, maybe? Like, at I... Now seal <sighs> and bake. Mmm, you just made a yummy co-cut stuffed meatloaf. It is. It is ham. Your stuffing choices inside are endless. Ham, cheese, and broccoli? Like asparagus cordon bleu, pepperoni pizza, vegetable medley, even ooey gooey mac and cheese. Now that's delicious. Isn't meatloaf supposed to be like the dish? Like, you know, like meatloaf is that. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you don't add anything to meatloaf except maybe some sauce on top, right? Some good old sauce. But what the hell is this Ciosa, shit? All made simple with our easy <clears throat> press and sealer. Best of all, my lifting tray elevates your meatloaf. I wonder so how many people bought this. fats drain away, making it healthier. Why make crumbly, boring meatloaf when you can serve moist? <laughs> I, dude, I love that. I love, this is why I love early 2000s commercials. They always like, you know, monochrome it, make it like gray, and then always have like a red X and then add the <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> it's that gross other meatloaf. Healthier. Why make crumbly, boring meatloaf? When you can serve moist, delicious stuffed meatloaf, mm. just like my Aunt Nancy. I mean, I don't know. That did not sound dry. That This sounded pretty moist to me. A crumbly, boring meatloaf. That when sounds you moist. can serve moist, delicious stuffed meatloaf, just like my Aunt Nancy makes. With my superior nonstick surface, just <clears throat> lift, slide, and serve. No messy cleanups. Imagine beef meatloaf with stuffed manicotti. Turkey with Thanksgiving Day stuffing. I imagine this all the time. with portobello mushrooms. You can also do cornbread, pull apart cinnamon bread, even strawberry shortcake. Plus it's all <clears> Okay, see, that makes sense. That makes sense what he just said. Like strawberry shortcake, a uh, 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 cinnamon bread, some fucking corn. Like that makes sense. These make sense. Why are you not doing that? Why is it gotta be fucking meatloaf? Bread. Pull apart cinnamon bread, even sh like all that looks good. Strawberry shortcake. But then he goes back Plus to the meatloaf. Dishwasher safe. <clears throat> Other pans sell for up to forty dollars, and, and they don't even have a lifting really tray or easy choice. press. Queen but order right thank now, you so much. and all you'll pay for is only fourteen ninety five. I'll even include my family stuffing secrets, oh! like Papa stuffed peppers or Greek Isle stuffing. But to make this dude fourteen ninety five, imagine if something like that was that cheap nowadays, dude. God, I'm old. I'm young. I'm 20. I'm actually 20 years old. What am I talking about? I've never even seen that commercial when I was younger. <clears throat> okay, we're, we're just doing another fire safety video. Why? Why do we always gotta... What, this, this has gotta be just bait at this point. You know, this is just a learning experience. Everyone who's watching, this is just a learning experience for you. Because I know the majority of you are this stupid. Okay, you're watching me. Your IQ has got to be very low, right? So, I mean, this is a good time to learn. Call me experience. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. How did his house not burn down? <clears throat> dude, what are these recommended videos? All right. Okay, I am not clicking on that because that is the grossest shit I've ever seen.
Can you fart so hard your balls explode? Thank you so much, Fly Specs. Metro, boom and make it boom. Yo, thank you so much, Prism, for the raid. Okay, well, okay, this one's nasty too. It's a fossilized banana inside banana bread. Huh. You want to know why this makes me so nauseous? I had a banana that was. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you'll see. I'll explain what I'm talking about. I had a banana about like a month ago. And I don't know if you guys have ever. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I agree. Have you guys ever bitten to a banana and. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much, Rage Quit. Have you guys ever had a banana? Where you bite into it? Shut up, bitch! Oh my God. Oh my God. Have you guys ever had a banana where you bite into it and you feel a crunch? There, I got it out. Have you ever been to a banana and felt a crunch? Cause I have. Seeds? Up, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? Call me asparagus. No, it's not seeds. Okay. Cringe. <sighs> well, you guys are testing my patience. You guys are testing my patience today, Rhonda Rice. Thank you so much for the ten months. The banana, ah, the banana was just pure black on the inside. Like when I snapped it, it went, k like it was literally a k sound when you snapped it and it was just black. Okay, I got my story out. I'm fucking done. You guys wanted to see the gross one, right? You guys wanted to see the gross one. Here you go. There it is. There it is. You happy? You happy? This is, this is what you wanted. What the hell are you talking There you go. I hope it was worth it. There, you guys wanted it, so there you go. Shut up, bitch! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. A realistic Chinese robot waiter enhances dining experience in Chongqing hot pot restaurant. Enhances is a strong word. Why? <clears throat> Ooh, savage burn. TTH banana snapped and crunched. You sure it wasn't just frozen? I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna reply to that. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. I'm not replying to that. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Funny fail. How not to cook lamb crying emoji. This better make me cry laughing. What did they expect to happen? <clears throat> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What? What did they expect? What? <laughs> oh my God, dude! All right, how to prepare? What? <clears throat> hey guys, come on into my kitchen. I'm going to be preparing chitlin loaf. Are you sure that does not say shitlin? Are you sure that doesn't say shitlin? First time ever. 
chitlin loaf. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do with this chitlin loaf, you guys, these are our ingredients. We're gonna get our skillet ready. I what is what is chitlin, chat? What is that? What is chitlin? I have some um, reused cooking oil in my skillet because I want to kind of brown this up. The terrible and parts of meat. I'm gonna be using Chitlins are like pig intestines. Two pork butthole. Apple cider vinegar and a half a <clears throat> teaspoon of black pepper. And My dogs be barking. Broken up a little bit more. I'm going to be adding those seasonings to this chitlin loaf. Now, y'all saw how this stuff looks. Yeah. It's thawed, but it's hard. So we're getting um, getting it all. Just, yeah, lather that up with some up red hot. Lather that up with some Franks. The gel that's holding it all together is, is breaking down. So I'm going to. I'm gonna uh, the gel on medium low what? for about 35 40 minutes because I want to really get all of that ex excess um, juice kind of like fried down to like almost a, a creamy sauce type with those chitlins because it's gonna go over my good old Shella Creations rice make some good old cornbread cuz you gotta have cornbread with cabbages y'all so we got cabbages what? What the f what? Got a southern soul food meal. And if you haven't seen what we thought about this chitlin oh, loaf, come on over. What is that? I cannot identify a single thing on that plate except bread. Watch the mukbang. Oh. You know what? I think I'm going to comment, like, and share after this one, guys. <clears throat> and subscribe. Honestly. Deep frying frozen wings. Oh dear God. Another case of what did you expect? <laughs> Again, this is just this is just a teaching lesson for you guys. That's all it is. Dude, all of this is just Ren. We are going to make the most amazing angel food harvest cake for Kwanzaa. Take your angel food cake and you're going to cut this in half. Be delicate with it, of course. This is so airy. And there you go. Now for the icing. <clears throat> There's the a icing. propane tank right next to the fryer. Yeah, they pr they're probably dead. You are going to flavor this icing with cinnamon, with cocoa, with vanilla. Okay. Two tablespoons of cocoa. Everybody has this because, of course, you're making hot chocolate this holiday season. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. So, so far, so good. And vanilla. Just about a teaspoon or two. Great. Combine all this together, and you are going to get... An incredible chocolate cinnamon icing. <clears throat> All right, we're ready to frost. Okay. Just put a nice amount on both sides. I'm listening. Of your cake. Am I getting baited? And then spread it around. Be very generous <clears throat> with the icing. You can always make more. And this is everybody's favorite part. Now, top back on, just like this. And here's a great trick. I use pie filling in the center of this. That way when you cut into it, you get the flavor of the angel food cake, the incredible icing, and apple cinnamon. Just fill the center of this angel food cake I up. mean, I guess. Some more icing. Be a little bit more careful now on where you place that because you want it even. But it's always nice to use a generous amount and top it off with pie filling. And decorating is so much fun. You use acorns. You're going to use some pumpkin seeds. Okay. And also some candles. Here's a trick. This uh -huh. cake is very spongy. It is angel food cake. Take your knife and just give it a whirl. So you make a little hole in there. Pop these candles right in. 
Those are some enormous and candles. There you go. Now, embellish this with just some acorns, just all the way around, and some pumpkin seeds on the top. And I need to taste this wonderful cake. What? What? Where did she find these candles? Does she know what candles like for for cakes are? This is just a giga birthday cake. Like these are full size candles. <laughs> Delicious. That reveal the <laughs> That that reveal was beautiful. <clears throat> the apple, the cinnamon, the angel food cake, the icing. Like I'm sure it tastes just fine, but like, man, that is that is a mess. That is just a mess on a plate of random items, dude. A little history lesson. <clears throat> Stewed crab. Um, okay. Well, I'm not sure what's in here, Michael. <laughs> um, no, no. I, I, needs to be a little brighter taste. A little, I, I don't know what it is. Brighter. I, little, I did add a little salt, but it didn't call for it. <sighs> Maybe another anchovy. That's where you get know. the saltiness. I, I think the anchovy is the thing that's in here that I don't like. Yeah. I don't know. But how? You know, I had a second mm -hmm. spoonful. Mm -hmm. Haven't dropped dead yet. So it's just like crab... Egg, egg whites, white wine, and anchovies. And that's it? Ew. Ew. All right, let's do one more. <clears throat> one more. And then uh, and then we'll uh, watch some people die in car accidents because for some reason that's the thing that you Not just like. one, but two fresh pizza doughs get stretched and formed into a square pan with olive oil, then slid into the oven to look like this. It gets okay. topped with their house-made pink vodka sauce, spread all vodka over. Vodka sauce? Okay. And some shredded mozzarella cheese, <clears throat> and slid into the oven once more. They dump it. Can people calm down with pepperoni? Another scoop. They finish off that first pan, but they're not done yet. They take even more pepperoni from the other pan. Not Can, dude, what is with people in pepperoni and pizza, man? Don't get me wrong. I love me some pepperoni pizza. But the outrageous amount of pizzas that you see is like the ultimate pepperoni pizza with quadruple the pepperoni. It's like you don't even have a pizza anymore. It's just 90% pepperoni. What is wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys? <clears throat> nah, I got issues. Give me that pizza. You're not eating a pizza. You're just eating pepper uh. pepperoni. Why you stop? All right, you. That's it. That was all. That that was that was the whole video. There's another video. And just when you thought it was over, this spot pours the pepperoni grease into. No. 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 -uh. No. 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 Dude, you know, I'm one of the guys who takes a paper towel and, like, dabs my pizza when I, there's pepperoni on it and it's, like, super greasy. Did anyone do that? I literally dab my pizza a little bit 
Or like I take my pizza and like hold it up so it could drip off a little bit. No, you don't. When it's super greasy, yeah. Why are you lying? No, when it's super greasy. I'm not talking about like fucking Little Caesars or something like that. I'm talking about like a super greasy pepperoni pizza. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Dude, Little Caesars doesn't have greasy pepperoni because like it's Little Caesars. Sure? Okay. All right, whatever. To their house made. No, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> I'd die. I would, like, I'm not joking. I would literally die from this. I could barely handle a pizza, like a regular pizza. This would just absolutely destroy me. Ew, Little Caesars? Bro, it's cheap, bro. Bro, when you're broke and you want something, you want some food, and you're feeling pizza, like, Little Caesars is a quick, easy grab. It's okay pizza. It's like six bucks for a goddamn, like, come on, come on. It doesn't matter if it's, uh, dude, we're not, I, I, ain't, I ain't going out looking for some high quality pizza, bro. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> <sighs> Moving on. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.